Good afternoon. My name is Sarah Bonser. I'm the superintendent of the Plano Independent School District. I want to thank you for coming to visit with us on such short notice today. And I want to provide an update to you on what has been a very difficult decision for the Plano ISD. But it was made in the interest of safety and security and the timing of the event that was scheduled regarding the Plano Senior High versus Eastwood High School football game scheduled for September 6th. As superintendent, it is and will continue to be the top priority of safety and security for our students, our families, our community, and anyone who visits our community. The decision to not host a game on September 6th was not made lightly. There was much consideration and consultation that went into this very unique situation. Ultimately, I put the safety of students and community first, and I cannot and will not regret that decision, one that makes our community and those visiting our community safe. But I am thankful to announce that the game between Plano Senior High and Eastwood High School is on. Today, in the middle of all of the questions, Mike Waldrop, Dr. Mike Waldrop from Frisco ISD, who serves as their superintendent, reached out to me and offered the use of the Dallas Cowboy Star Center as a host site for this very important game. Mike changed his football schedule in order to accommodate our two districts, knowing that this facility provides the level of security that we feel this unique situation warrants. I have been in contact with the Ysleta superintendent, Dr. De La Torre, and he and I have agreed that this game will be played one day earlier to accommodate the schedule on September the 5th. More information and details about that game will follow. The generosity and community spirit exhibited by our neighbors in Frisco and the Dallas Cowboys are appreciated and certainly commendable as we worked to find a solution for our teams to play the game that we all wanted to play. This game can now occur with all the focus for our students and the excitement of Texas football in a safe environment. I want to make a point that today, three districts in the state of Texas came together to find a solution for kids that keeps them safe and does not take away opportunities. I thank you for your time. I thank you for being here. I thank my city officials, we have Chief Russian from the police department, our city manager, our safety and security division, Sarah Watkins, the principal at Plano Senior High, and our board of trustees, uh, all here together to share this announcement. And now I'm going to turn the microphone over to Dr. Sarah Watkins, who is the principal at Plano Senior High, as she has some remarks that she'd like to make. I just want to express my appreciation to everyone who stepped forward to assist in making it possible to play this game. It is an absolute heartfelt pleasure to once again host Eastwood High School and show them the warm hospitality of the Plano Wildcats. Of course, at the core of every student activity, safety is our first consideration. And so I am thankful that our campus had the support and worthy attention from our district administration to find a safe solution in order to make this event happen. And I'm really thrilled to have Frisco ISD as our neighbor and friend. I think this is what real teamwork's all about. I just want to say the Wildcat Nation, our students, our staff, and our community all are delighted to welcome Isleta ISD and Eastwood High School, their football team, their fans, and we look forward to kick off on September 5th at 7 p.m. At this time, I'll turn it over to Leslie Range Stanton, our Executive Director of Communications. 
I don't know if we recognize Chief Cotton. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so Hi. Chief Cotton from Murphy is here as well. Um, I think that we may have an opportunity to take a few questions. Does anybody have any? Yes. You talked a little bit, or Superintendent talked a little bit about how Sports Center allows you all to address some safety concerns. Um, what specifically are you all concerned about? Is it, is it fighting between fans? Is it about outside groups coming in? What are those safety concerns? I wouldn't say that there were specific concerns, and that's not what we're here to address today. It's just the level of what could happen in this very uh, unique kind of microcosm of a situation. So there, there's no specifics to give. Did, did you look for an alternative site before canceling the game? And uh, the Asleta superintendent said that he offered to play it at a neutral site far away from here, far away from both schools, and you all declined. So can you comment on those two? Can you comment on that? I'm sorry. As far, you know, as, as far as I know, we, we haven't had a specific alternate um, location offered. The idea of taking this to another stadium that doesn't have the same security of the star at Frisco just wasn't an alternative at that time. But did you look at any other stadium before making that decision to cancel? We, we looked at the, the star w was an ideal place. The idea of having an, a, a football game in an open arena wasn't an option. Ms. Letta, um, ISD superintendent told me today that if a decision wasn't made by today, that they were likely going to entertain the offers they had gotten from other districts and other schools. We can't speak on did behalf that of them. Play into your decision at all. N that did not. The offer from Dr. Waldrop is what played into this decision. You said you, the superintendent said that she didn't regret um, the decision made in the interests of the safety of the students. However, um, one of the school board members in Isleta told me that um, there was, they felt they were looked down upon, that there was really um, harm done. To, um, to their students and they felt like they got a negative impression. Do you apologize to the, the students, the community there, who said that they feel like they were looked down upon in all this situation? Well, that definitely was not the intention. Not so, okay. That's not about logistics, that's about character. So this was never about anything but safety. You charge a superintendent, this state charges a superintendent to, to the maximum degree possible, keep its students, its staff, its visitors safe at any event that we host. We consulted with our law enforcement agencies. Uh, we, we talked with safety and security. We looked at our event venue and said, can we, to the maximum degree possible, make this as safe an event as possible, knowing there are some unique circumstances around this particular situation. I hope we can all agree upon that. Uh, and at the end of the day, uh, it is on me to make a decision about safety and security. And I hope that is exactly what the community wants from their superintendent. And that is what I will do. And it is not popular. And people will interpret that many different ways. But it was never intended as, as an insult, as a, a, any way to make kids or anybody feel bad. But certainly we understood the gravity of all of the emotions that would surface when you make a decision about safety that does not make everyone happy. And we, we want opportunities for kids, but not at the expense of safety. And I, and I will continue to be that kind of a superintendent. You, you, I know that you all want to talk about safety concerns, but it's, how do you address the fact that this is being moved for safety, but you're saying that there aren't safety concerns, or you're not able to, could you just tell us what safety concerns you will have? Any of, Joe, do you want to talk about that in particular? I'll let Joe Parks, he's our Director of Safety and Security, respond to that particular question. Sure. Uh, like Superintendent Bonzer said, there are th this, the circumstances surrounding this game are very unique. The, the, these circumstances are not present in any of the other football games that we would host here at Plano. Uh, the venue at the Star, just from its construction up, is more secure the, the way it's a professional venue. Uh, that uh, you know, your high school stadiums don't have that level of security. And, and as the superintendent said, um, in this case, uh, the decision was made to not host it at one of our stadiums. Uh, when this stadium in Frisco became open, we have a, a, a great amount of experience with that 
uh, venue for our graduations and we were comfortable with the level of security that they offer there and that's why the decision was made to uh, uh, try to reschedule the game for there. So are you all concerned about people bringing weapons in or people fighting or what's the concern? Uh, you know, in, in a circumstance like this, we, we, we don't know what could happen. Uh, obviously, this, is, this was an international media story, the event in El Paso, and that can uh, bring things in to the hometown that wouldn't otherwise be here. So this was an abundance of caution and, and for the security and safety of the citizens and the students and our staff members. Uh, and, and I absolutely agree with the decision to, to not have the game until we had the option uh, up at Frisco. Uh, right. Sorry, uh, to clarify real quick, um, before yesterday's um, uh, decision to cancel the game, did you guys look at alternative sites? Uh, I'm, I wasn't in, I don't know. Okay. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the superintendent, Yasleta, and I both discussed that. At that time, we did not have a viable location to go in between or one way or the other. And so, um, I'm, you know, I knew that he needed an answer on whether we were going to have that game or not. And since we did not have another viable location, set or decided upon. Uh, timing is part of this. The game is around the corner. Uh, people are making plans to travel. Um, teams need to know what's going on. Coaches need to know what's going on. Families need to know what's going on. And so I made the call. And I own it. It was about safety. And I make the hard decisions. And I did. How long were you guys in talks with Isleta about uh, alternative options? Uh, the superintendent and I have been dialoguing for a period of time. Uh, days, like yeah. weeks. I mean. You know, our team has been in conversations with the Asleta since, I don't know, for several weeks, and the superintendent and I have been talking uh, regularly for about the last week, every day. There was a lot of backlash um, following the announcement yesterday. I know Certainly. that a petition already reached more than 500 signatures. Did that public backlash? You know, have anything to do with the reversal today? A petition without a safer venue for this particular game would not have influenced my decision because safety comes before popular opinion. I think we're, I think we're good. Thank you guys for coming out.